Well, ladies and gents, boys and girls, this is it. This is what we've been riding for. Have you ever visited Bangkok and seen the Chao Phraya River that cuts through the centre of the city, adorned on either side by luxury hotels, restaurants and temples, as well as hosting hundreds of years of riverside industry and agriculture? That water, it comes from somewhere, and today we're going to see exactly where. Over the last few days, I've followed the path of the Chao Phraya tributaries north through Kampang Pet on my little motor scooter, and yesterday afternoon, I made it to Bumibol Dam in Tak province, the eighth largest dam like this in the entire world. It began construction in the 1950s, and to put that in context, Thailand began building this mega construction while the Korean War was raging. Can you hear that? I love the microphone announcements here at the dam all in Thai. I can't understand what they're saying, but the acoustics echoes around the wall. And today it stands at a whopping 505 feet high, providing water storage, hydroelectric power, flood control, fisheries and saltwater intrusion management, and ultimately controls the flow of essential water through Thailand and eventually all the way down to Bangkok. This water is the cornerstone of Thailand's agricultural and farming prosperity, its industrial growth and trade for over a century. I'm so stoked to have made it this far north on the motor scooter. And I'm also excited to announce I've secured a partnership with a Thai company, Vinzan. We're a small group of Thais and foreigners working together to provide wholesale broccoli for bulk buyers and dispensaries. Vinzan off takes flour from large licensed cultivation facilities, including assets they own and manage. Vinzan actually approached me via email from Bangkok and they said, we're following your travel journey through Northern Thailand and we're enjoying your videos. How about you do a collaboration with us? They said, Sam, we know you're a non-smoker. We know you like a beer, but we still want to work with you. That is the mentality of these cool cats. If you own a dispensary here in Thailand or you're a serious broccoli consumer, Vinzan has you covered. I see on their website, vinzan.com, you can sign up and track all of your orders in real time. I guess this is the solution to running around and looking for product from dozens of potentially unreliable suppliers. These folks have done all the running around for you. They ship all the top trusted product edibles, oils, and accessories. You can even use a Drift promo code for an additional discount. By friends in Bangkok, I've only heard good reviews about this mob. It's so cool to see how nature and industry comes together and is so interconnected. 6.30 a.m. Morning alarm bells have gone off. Our resident soy dogs are singing to us. Take that as a sign from the gods. It's time to get up and finish my editing. Top of the morning. What a place to wake up in. I threw down yesterday 1,200 baht, which is way, way, way more than I wanted to spend on any accommodation just for one night on this trip. But this is the only hotel in this precinct. And this, I think it's a government run area. It's highly manicured. The gardens and the landscape is unlike anywhere else I've seen in Thailand to date. I won't be sticking around here. I'm just going to eat some breakfast and you guessed it, hit the road again. Hit the road, Jack. But where might I be going? Very beautiful Sawai. I just realized after leaving the tourist area of the dam that of course there's an entire Thai community living here that I hadn't spotted yesterday. The area is managed by the Electrical Generating Authority of Thailand and as such the whole region appears to be closely managed by government which would explain the immaculately kept roads, gardens and infrastructure. 
Some of the houses look like government issue and are reminiscent of the houses I've seen at Satterhip Naval Base, quite possibly reserved for government electricity department staff and or security. Just came down here and we've got a big water dragon. Don't run off, buddy. There it goes, into the drink. I am fairly impressed with my 250 US dollar scooter, Overland Tourer. <laughs> Is it or is it not? F it's not. I thought I thought it was a python skin shedded. We'll just put this over here. If we can just ignore the water leak over there and the canopy off a pickup truck, now posing as gym equipment. This morning I rode as far around to the base of the dam as I could, but the military had that last section closed off. The sun was just hitting it uh, uh, on the other side. So yesterday afternoon, when I took the drone footage, when I went out there to walk along the top of it, the sun was hitting one side. And this morning, the sun's hitting the deep side. I really do feel like this has been the most visually impressive site I've come across on this trip. And I'd encourage anyone passing through the area in the future to take the time to detour and visit here. Sometimes it would be nice out the front of his 7-Eleven to eat my cheese toasty in peace. That's for you. Uh-uh, here. Here you go. All right, done. No more. Road works in this beautiful town. Or not town. Stick up. Purple shirt. Oh wait, Jeunesse yeah. inspectors. Purple shirts. Buffaloes casually walking down the road. G'day boys. There's old mate up here. Hey fella. Is that with your cup on? Hello. Now I'm not gonna name names, but one of you three needs to take a shower. Good lord. Fence. I couldn't I couldn't handle the highway anymore. I only had six kilometers left, but it was so hot and straight and unforgiving. And I was in the shoulder. No trees, no shelter, no cover. I pulled off. And I'm taking a very slow but beautiful bush track. A big one. Oh, we're running along the river. Okay. Yes, fuck, this is exactly what I wanted. Good way to Chiang Mai. Head southwest. They can know you, too. I'm struggling to find the name of this town. It's a tiny one, about 250 kilometers south of Chiang Mai. Oh, yeah. oh, to bring us home. I believe it's called Mei Pa. I just looked on Google Maps and could see that there is one and only one accommodation option here for tonight. It's a homestay, which I've never done before. You build this house? Oh, no, my money. No. Your money, yeah. yeah. It, it looks like a resort. Too. It looks like a... No, no, it's just a summer house. Summer house. I'm super lucky because this grand old wooden house was built and now operated by William, a 70-year-old Thai man with fluent English. Back in Australia, I was social worker. Uh, I run a house like this for homeless uh, kids, like orphans, an orphanage. The children have no family. 
No, my, oh. no parents. Yeah, so. Like a problem. Problem. Oh. I had five. Oh. House like this. Yeah, wooden. For the, you know, is. So I do for 15 years. And then I'm um, Nungai. So I've only been here five minutes, and William said, Did you bring beers? Because you can put them in here. Um, there's a mini mart across the road, so I'll go down there. William said he doesn't drink anymore. No sang song? No beer? <laughs> he was an academic by trade. Now, despite the fact that I rolled in completely unannounced, and he was sick in bed actually when he saw me right in he got straight up and he's decided he'll take me in tonight william said the whole house is made from teak and he thinks it's the only all teak house in the town thought a nice way to finish up a massive 24 hours would be to head on down to the community festival that's the local store. I just got a couple of beers for William and I. And see what all the commotion is about. As it was explained to me, community members from 16 neighbouring villages are meeting here tonight to compete in a traditional dance routine. Participants are all female, raging in all ages. It's spectacular to see some of the older ladies from surrounding villages all dressed up in the stunning Technicolor costumes. There's things that go on in rural Thailand that I'd never have a clue about, unless I did this trip. Soaking in the vast customs and cultures, it takes time, time and effort it transpires. Thank you for tuning in. Tomorrow I'm going to have a crack at making it all the way to Chiang Mai in what will represent the longest leg I've attempted so far. Wish me luck. I'll see you then.